A peripheral artery disease is becoming more common and that's in part due to an aging population. But as a vascular surgeon in the 1980s and 1990s, uh, the vast majority of peripheral artery disease you would have seen would have been associated with smoking. And whilst we're still seeing problems related to smoking, the increasing issue is related uh, to diabetes and chronic kidney disease. There are a number of important differences. Um, the location of the arterial disease in patients with diabetes is typically uh, below the level of the knee or in the crural vessels, whereas in people who smoke, it's, it's often... Um, uh, present in the superficial femoral artery in the thigh. The other issues um, which make arterial disease more difficult to diagnose and treat are that the vessels are often calcified, which means that they're difficult to compress and therefore the ankle brachial pressure index may be slightly misleading. Uh, and the calcification can uh, result in uh, technically more difficult operations for bypass procedures or angioplasties or stents. And the other issue of very important significance is the fact that the occlusions or the arterial blockages are often longer in diabetes with a less well-developed collateral circulation. So the perfusion deficit in the foot is often a lot more severe for the same uh, distance or the same length of occlusion. And then on top of that, uh, unfortunately, patients with diabetes often have microvascular circulatory problems with arterial venous shunting, which shunts blood away from the important uh, areas of the skin and adnexal tissues uh, and therefore patients are more likely to find they have difficulties in healing ulcers.